Hi, my name is Dwayne Nickel. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer for the City of Selkirk. Of course, this year we're reconstructing Eveline and we've received some questions and some comments on social media about the, the project and about some of the decisions that have been made in terms of the changes to the street. We'd like to take this opportunity to give some answers to those questions, provide some additional information for people who have some questions. Hi there, I'm Matt Fisher. From JR Cousin Consultants. Uh, we're the uh, design engineers that were involved in the Eveline Street uh, reconstruction project and I'm a senior municipal engineer. Bonnie says the redo is well overdue. We agree Bonnie. Uh, the existing condition of the road uh, was uh, quite poor. Um, everyone has seen from, uh, from driving it uh, that the road condition was in uh, poor condition and certainly in need of reconstruction. As part of that reconstruction project, we needed to also bring the road up to uh, current standards for uh, both drivability and accessibility. Um, Dwayne, there's more to that. More? Oh, yes. Um, Bonnie also goes on to say, again, the stupid jut out curbs are a nuisance and a hazard in the winter. A bump outs or peninsulas are definitely a, a good idea. You know, these features are very consistent with universal design principles. You know, the city of Selkirk is really joining a, a global movement to improve and update pedestrian infrastructure uh, to make streets more accessible. It, it, would, it would be great if more communities considered bump outs and, and peninsulas as well. So good job, Selkirk. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Dan McDermott, Director of Operations here at the city of Selkirk. And for snow removal, um, we have a very competent and professional crew here that have no problems clearing snow on any street, including ones with uh, pedestrian peninsulas on them. Um, so there's been a number of points uh, noting that the pedestrian peninsulas are in fact a hazard. Um, and, and I respectfully disagree uh, with that. I uh, do not uh, feel like they're a hazard. I found that it was more hazardous for pedestrians uh, before the peninsula, uh, pedestrian peninsulas were, uh, were designed and ultimately installed. Seth says and asks, it's just like Maine to Manitoba. I hate how there's no turning lane anymore. They just made it for the sidewalk bigger. Like, for who? Well, Seth, for everyone. Eveline is one of the streets identified by citizens as, needing, as most needing repair work. So this year we've planned our $7.2 million reconstruction of the street uh, to reinvest and bring it up to modern standards and codes. Ben says, typical city of Selkirk, always moving backwards. Well, Ben, um, the street could never be reconstructed in exactly the same way. The design standards that were used were decades and decades old, and we could never rebuild it that way. The new Eveline will be updated using modern engineering and urban design standards is wonderful and I think it's so forward thinking of the city to actually recognize this and try their try their hardest to really achieve these goals in a in a meaningful way. Exciting to see this plan from Selkirk. It's really about all of it coming together in a really innovative and a unique way um, that's based in best practices around the world. I think that this is a great forward thinking uh, project for Selkirk and it's really putting you on the leading edge of cities and towns across Manitoba. So Wendy says, I heard that buses can't turn on Eveline. It has to go up to the lights on Main Street. Well, Wendy, buses, fire trucks, and other large vehicles all are, can use that intersection as it's been safely engineered for that purpose. But you know what? Let's have Matt give the answer to that. The intersection, specifically at Eaton and Eveline, was designed for a vehicle pulling a trailer, uh, designed for a, a bus. Um, it's not technically a truck route. Um, so we, we can easily use Main Street and come straight across the bridge if that uh, is preferred, uh, but the vehicles can make those turns if required. Hi, my name is Dave. I am the Chief of Selkirk Fire Department. It has come to our attention that some of the public believe the changes to Eveline will keep the fire trucks from maneuvering to our calls. The changes to Eveline help with pedestrian safety to keep them from being in accidents with the motor vehicles. We have gone to some very serious incidents with motor vehicles and pedestrians. Any changes to this to keep the public safe is a good thing. 
Crystal says, I've been looking at the changes being made to the area and I can't help but wonder if they're planning on making it a no truck route along Eveline and over the bridge. That's a great question, Crystal. Actually, Eveline South is not a truck route and trucks should not be using that street uh, for, for transportation. Uh, Eaton Avenue, Main Street, and the section of Eveline uh, that is being reconstructed are all truck routes and uh, are properly being designed for that purpose. Vanessa says, oh good, it looks like they're taking away that lane that's not a turning lane at Eveline at, by the bridge. Yes, that is correct. We are eliminating this, the informal slip lane that creates a more dangerous intersection for pedestrians and motor uh, vehicles. What, what you had before was uh, was called a slip lane um, and, and what that essentially means is just a secondary lane uh, for people to make a right hand turn. Um, it makes it really dangerous for people using that intersection if it's an informal uh, slip lane which is essentially is driving on the edge of the road or gravel to make that right hand turn and ultimately it's also danger dangerous for the pedestrians trying to cross. Stefan says stopped at the intersection yesterday and watched a semi truck with a trailer, make the turn onto the bridge yesterday, no problem. While semi-trailers are not supposed to be making that turn, it does happen. The intersection at Eveline and Eaton was designed to allow vehicles uh, pulling trailers and even 40-foot uh, buses to make that turn. With that said, anyone who's not comfortable with, with making that turn can still use Main Street and then turn onto Eaton so that they can go straight through that intersection without any problems. Glad that that semi uh, uh, driver is able to make that turn. They're not really supposed to be on that road but uh, we're happy that they were able to, uh, to make it regardless. <laughs> Heather says, there is zero chance my camper is gonna make that turn right now to get across the bridge. Well, Heather, that intersection actually was designed to allow people to, with trailers to, to make the turn. However, if you're not comfortable making that turn with your particular vehicle and setup, we strongly encourage you to, to go to Man uh, Main Street, use Main Street to get to Eaton, and then go straight down Eaton to cross the bridge. Michelle says, those businesses are going to die out. Well, actually, Michelle, uh, what the best research in urban design tells us is that downtown areas that facilitate good pedestrian uh, uh, pathways and, and cyclists allow for cyclists actually do better. They increase sales and they become more vibrant downtowns. Bob says, who the Until the handlebars break off. We can't, we can't use that, can we? Of all the questions that we received on the Eveline Street reconstruction, this intersection and this curb in particular have generated the most amount. So we've asked our design engineers to take a look at this particular curb, at this intersection, and see if there's anything that we could do to improve and make it a more comfortable turning experience for those uh, turning on to, uh, onto the bridge from uh, Eveline Street. So what the design engineers have, have discovered is that we can take this curb and the flare out and eliminate the flare and uh, maintain the safety that is provided by the pedestrian peninsula, keeping the same crossing distance uh, that it currently exists with the enhanced uh, intersection, but add some more space between the tire and the curb, which will make it a more comfortable driving experience for those making the turn onto the bridge. We'd like to thank the citizens who have taken the time to share their thoughts and their questions with us. We've heard them and we've given them consideration. We've tried to respond to some of those questions online, on our social media, as well as the advertisements that we put into the Selkirk record. We know that these enhancements make Eveline look and feel just a bit different. These differences really are the accessibility and safety features at work. We've used professional civil engineers and urban planners to design the street for us. We've used modern accessibility standards and safety standards to ensure that this road works for all of us. We know that these enhancements will take a little bit of time for all of us to grow comfortable with, but building a vibrant downtown that's safe and welcomes all people, all people of all abilities, all ages, and economic status is really important to building a stronger Selkirk.